Many of the Missouri Synod missionaries were removed from Papua New Guinea in 1973 and the years following. And they continued to care very deeply, these missionaries who left, about the work that was going on in Papua New Guinea. And many of them have formed a, a mission society, uh, the Papua New Guinea Mission Society, and they've continued to go over and work there, short-term work, um, teaching, helping, and guiding. And they've done a great deal of work to make sure that uh, Lutheranism is strong and help to make sure that the gospel is strong there. Um, the Missouri Synod is beginning to send missionaries back again now at the invitation of our partner church, the Good News Lutheran Church. And we're hoping that we can strengthen and, and build on the cooperation together with those who've been there and build up the, the work of the Lord uh, with uh, the congregations and the seminaries there. I've been a pastor for 15 years before now going to Papua New Guinea. And it's been a time of really great joy. I love doing this. I love serving God's people. I love the changes and challenges that come with every day. It, it's a challenge going forth, having had a parish, having had a flock, to not have that pulpit and that altar to serve them with anymore. And so it is a bit of a cross. Um, but it's also now there'll be students to care for and students' families to care for and helping to train them to hopefully see that when they go out, they'll have the privilege of serving an incredible group of people over in some village in Papua New Guinea. And they'll serve them and they'll love them with the love of Christ. And I hope to give them that vision somewhat of the joy and the privilege of being part of people's lives with the gospel. There are so many opportunities to serve, and part of the advice I give if someone's interested in, in world missions is to understand that he can use so many different gifts in service, different abilities, um, and the things that, and the gifts that you have, they can really be of use in, in reaching out to people. A kindness and a gentleness and a caring for people is, is really important as well, a willingness to listen a willingness to understand that maybe people do things differently in their culture, but they still are loved by Christ. And that Christ who became man, you know, God who became man knows how to communicate with them too. And He can use you. I know that when someone gives support to our family, they're not just helping us. They're helping the students at the seminary and they're helping the kids and the families in these villages out around Papua New Guinea who are going to hear the word from those pastors who get trained and go out. You know, I, I think about the idea of, you know, a cup of cold water. They've, we've received a lot of cups of cold water from the people around us who have been willing to support our work. But when they give one to us, they're giving it also to the students there. And they're giving it to the children who will hear from those students when they go out. To me, when I think about that, I, I say this is a good stewardship. It's a good use of God's gifts to train the men who come from these lands so that they can then go back to their own people, speak their own language, know their own cultures, and yet bring Christ crucified to those people in those villages. So I thank the people who support us, not only because they're helping me and my family, but the students who are starting their lives of service and the people who will hear the word going forward.